Thank you for calling Bank of America Hotline. This call will be recorded for quality and monitoring purposes. To report lost of card, dial 1. To report an unauthorized transaction, dial 2. For queries related to, please hold while we transfer your call to a customer support representative. Um, yes, is this, um, who am I speaking with? You are calling in Bank of America for our department. Oh, okay. Um, How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm okay. How are you? All good, Miss. Thank you for asking. How may I help you today? Yeah, I received um, something, a text message that somebody was, uh, I was uh, transferring a request for a transfer of money to somebody. I didn't do that. You didn't do that, all right. What type of account you have in this bank, saving, checking, or a business? Um, savings, checking, and a money market. I mean, do you want to do, do you want to do you want a reference number or pull up my name or anything so we can get this figured out? Yes, first of all, you need to read out the message again. A request from Jessica B to re transfer twelve hundred ninety-three dollars, and then to call if I'm not ninety-three dollars. Twelve hundred ninety-three, almost thirteen hundred dollars. Twelve hundred ninety. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you have a bank application in your mobile? Yeah, and I checked it. I went and checked everything, and there's I don't see this charge on there. All right, could you please uh, check again? Yeah, hold on a second. All right. If you found suspicious transaction under your name without your knowledge, tell me. This is, I didn't do any of this. I'm telling you, I don't know who this this Jessica B person is. Okay, and what's the remaining balance are you holding? How much money do I have in my bank account? Yes, ma'am. Checking mm -hmm. savings. Well, I mean, don't you guys know that? Yes. We. I'm telling you, you need to check in your phone. Have you deduct any charge under no. your name? No, no, account? there's nothing gone. There's nothing missing. Okay. Confirm your first and the last name so I can easily pull up your file why you received that text message. Penny? If you want to do. My name is Penny. Uh-huh. Bailey. B-A-I. Penny. Penny. P-E-N-N-Y. -E Bailey. B-E-N-N-Y. Yes. And what's your last name? Bailey, B A I L E Y. All right, Miss. Just be on hold for a quick moment. I will pull up your file in my system. Just be on hold, Miss. Thank you. You too. Yeah, I'm here. Well, thanks for holding the line. As I can see in your file, we have found your email address has been recently changed from Bank of America with the help of banking app. So are you the person who changed your information? No, no. Can you verify the, the email address? Because I, I, mean, I didn't change nothing. Your currently email is... So does I'm... any else use your account or your phone app? No, just me. Just you. Okay. All right. Okay, so let me explain you the case why you received that text message. Because we have found four accounts under your name in the state of California. And they are holding two checking accounts, two savings accounts, and one business account, which is being registered under your name. And they are doing multiple fraud transactions to narco trafficking countries like Mexico, Colombia. As I can see in your file, the last transaction which they had made from those accounts, it was on last week, on Friday. They made a wired transfer, approximate amount like $45,000 to the state of Texas. <sighs> yes, ma'am. So do you have any knowledge about those accounts and this transaction? No. Okay. 
So if you don't have any knowledge about those account and this transaction, I have to go ahead and raise a fraud case and escalate this case filed to the government authorities, U.S. Marshal. So U.S. U.S. Marshal. Your... <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> So, Miss, how can it possible someone is stolen your identity and your name? Have you shared your personal information to anyone? No, but there's data breaches all the time, and they say that your information is always out there. I don't know how, because I don't share it, but that's what I hear. And have you lost your wallet any time in the past? No. Or your cell phone? No. And do you suspect anyone regarding this case? Do you doubt anyone regarding this case? No. <clears throat> no. No. All right. And have you been in California? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I have not. All right. You have not. I understand that you are declaring me over this recorded line that the information that we have in our custody does not belong to you at all. And there is high possibility someone has access to your personal information, which is again a concern for us. And you might be a victim of identity theft. Well, I'm telling you right now, so I am a victim of identity theft because I don't know what, what any of this is. I don't even know what's going on. I mean, you, you're you aware that if you're looking yes. at my account, you see all I have is a savings of checking in the money market. Yes, you are calling in Bank of America Fraud Department. Right. I and have all the information of yours, okay? Oh. Okay. And Miss, as you know, this is a recordable line, so please do not reveal your personal information. Like oh, your account I won't. number, your debit card number, and your credit card number. Do not reveal this. I won't I give it to anybody, that. sir. I won't give anything to anybody. Yes. I promise you. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. So, although the investigation is ongoing, so surely the investigating officer will get to the bottom of this. From my side, for now, I can put in the case notes and consult U.S. Marshal with your declaration form. So why, why is the, the I'm sorry, why does the U.S. Marshal need to be involved? I mean, shouldn't it be somebody because that deals with me, identity theft? Yes, miss. This is an identity theft case. Somebody using your name and your personal information for doing some illegal activity. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. That's what you said. Okay. <sighs> okay. Um, so... Can you, stop those? Can, you stop those? can you stop those? Can you stop those? Well, I mean, I those, those other accounts, those aren't my personal accounts. These are just different accounts, so you can't do anything about that, I'm sure. All right. We suspend all the accounts. Not Bogus accounts, all the accounts. So, where they can go ahead and differences between which one is yours and which one the fake accounts opened by the culprit. We will differentiate your general accounts and the Bogus accounts, which is owned by you and owned by the culprit. Miss, how long you have been dealing with Bank of America? For several years. You should, I mean, if these are brand new accounts, you should know that the brand new accounts aren't me and the ones I've had with you for 10 plus years are me. Okay. <sighs> so, could you please uh, tell me any rough idea how much, how long you have been dealing with Bank of America? Over 10 years. That's what I said. It's like you, it's like my accounts are 10 well, years old. These new accounts, you know that they're, they're brand new, that this got, those have got to be the, the, the bad guys, the people that are doing this crap, whatever they're doing. Okay. So, and you told me you have a one check-in, one savings, and money market account. Am I right? That's right. All right. Do you have a credit card under your name with Bank of America? Yeah, I do. Okay. Confirm me the approximate balance are you holding in your check-in, savings, and the money market account? Well, I'm sorry, sir. Don't you see um, that information there? Miss, we need to differentiate. What's your and what's the bogus one? Well, like I said, my accounts are over 10 years old. These new accounts are brand new. Those are I the understand. bogus I, ones. I, I, That's, that should be miss, common sense. That should be common sense. <laughs> how, how, how can I believe you? How can I believe you? Your common sense. Common sense. My accounts so are the we three... Need to, we need to... Oh. Miss, I understand that I'm saying to you. I understand that you are saying to me. So that's why I'm asking you. We, uh, we need to prove that you are not that culprit. You are an innocent one in courthouse of Texas. Okay. Courthouse of Texas. Yes, miss. Texas and California. <sighs> um, can you give me one minute? I need to go so get my. Can, I... can you give me one second while I go pull my dinner out of the oven so it doesn't burn? I'll be right back in just a second. Okay. Again, pardon me. 
This is going to be a good one, guys. A really, really good one. I really do have to get my dinner out of the oven, so I am trying to pause to hold them up. I got I've got two minutes apparently, so let's pause this. Let me get my dinner. Well, he's punctual. Two minutes to the T, man. Recorded. Hello. Yes, Miss Bellier. Yes, I'm here. Yes, Miss. What happened with you? Uh, are you the person I was just talking to? Come again? Were you the person I was just speaking to? Miss, uh, I'm calling you from Bank of America. Yeah, and I, t well, I was it's talking to some, and I, t yeah, and, I and you said you were going to call me back so I could get my dinner out of the oven? Yes, <sighs> I'm telling you. I'm Who here. Who are you talking to? Okay, I was talking to somebody, and um, I think it was you, and they said that um, I said that I need to get my dinner out of the oven, and they would call me back in two minutes, and it's been about two minutes. I heard, tried to rush as quickly as I could. Miss, after short two minutes, I'm calling you. Right, I'm here. That's why I'm calling you. Okay, I'm here. All right. So, you told me you have a three bank, am I right? No, I just have you guys. Yes, you told me you have a one check-in, one savings, and money market account. Right, but only with you guys. Only one bank. Just you guys. Nobody else. Okay. So, confirm with the approximate balance. Are you holding in your check-in, savings, and money market account? Well, the savings is around 17000 The check-in is around 2400 The money market's um, 100, about 100 and over 150000 I haven't looked at the money market in a while. All right. Check it. Check it now? Yes, please. Check it now. One second. It's almost $154,000. $154,000 in right. your money market account. Am I right? That's right, yeah. And in your savings, you have a 17000 17000 Yeah. And in your checking, you have a $2,400. Yeah, and you should know all this. I mean, I banked with you guys for a decade. And from your current address... Yeah, it's just those three accounts, just one bank, just you guys. All right. Confirm me your current address. We record each and everything in your voice. You are not that culprit. You are an innocent one. That's fine. Okay? So, and if you want to verify, I will verify you whom you're talking to. All right? I know. You're Bank of America. Yes, ma'am. Your current address is 65... All right, confirm me your date of birth. February 2nd, 1967. Right. Come again? February 2nd, 1967, 1967. 1967. That's right. All right. So, just be on hold for a quick moment till I submit this information successfully to the U.S. Marshal. So just be on hold for a quick moment. All right, man? All right. All right. Just be on hold. I just mute him. U.S. Marshal? Is this going to turn into one of the SSA Border Patrol things? I think it's going to be. We'll see shortly, guys. Yeah, I can hear you. Miss congratulations. Your declaration form is approved. So I will provide you some confidential information of this case. So please write down. Okay, one second. Let me get paper, pencil. All right, go ahead. M R C, M as in Mary, R as in Robert, C as in Charlie. Okay. Write down your case ID number. Mm -hmm. M R C. Okay. Three three one. Two seven six. Okay, I got it. 
And this is a and this is a bank this is a, this is a this is a ID number. This is a Bank of America case ID number. Yes, miss. Okay. This is your case ID number. All right, go ahead. Write down your declaration form ID number. And what's number is this? I'm sorry. Declaration form ID number. Declaration form. Hold on. Declaration form. One second. Give me one second. Declaration form. Okay. All right, I'm ready. C M C as in Charlie, M as in Mary. Okay. One eight four. Mm hmm. Zero nine four. All right, I got it. Write on my name. Mm -hmm. Rick Bowser. Rick, well, how do you spell your last name? P as in Peter, A as in Alpha, U as in Union, Z like a zebra, A like a Alpha. Pausa? Yes, Miss Rick Pausa. Okay, all right, I got it. Write on my badge ID number. Um, badge ID? Okay. Yes, Miss. Write down. All right. Nine nine five eight seven two. All right, I got it. Write down your ADR number. What is this? ADR. ADR stands for Alternative Dispute Resolution. A D R number. A as an apple, D as in dog, R as in Randy. No, A as an apple, D like a dog. That's what I said. R like a Robert. That's what I said. A as an apple, D as in dog, R as in Robert. A D R. Okay. Yes, miss. All right. Five three one. Uh huh. K L P. K as in King. L as in Lima. P as in Paul. Okay. Six five nine. All right. I got it. Could you please confirm? Could you please confirm the all the numbers? Confirm your case ID number. M is in Mary, R is in Randy, C is in Cat. Three three one two seven six. Uh, yes, ma'am. Declaration right form ID. C is in yes, Cat. M is in Mary. One eight four zero nine four. Uh, your badge ID is nine nine five eight, and something called ADR number is five three one. K is in kite, L is in Larry, P is in Paul, six seven nine. Yes, miss. Let me tell you why I'm giving you all the information because after this investigation, I am transfer your call to the U.S. Marshal, and they will ask you what's your case ID number and what's your declaration form ID number. That's why I'm giving you. Do you copy that? Yeah, I understand you. All right. Kamalin, you understand or not? I said I understand you. All right. So let me tell you what is the meaning of ADR. It's ADR it stands for Alternative Dispute Resolution. It is something which will help you firstly by link your general account only to your identities so that you can use them. And all the fake accounts under your name in California will be permanently blocked. Why can't you just US do Mark. that right now, sir? You know what bank accounts I have, and you know that brand new ones aren't mine. That's not possible. We close this account right now, okay? We need to catch your culprit as soon as possible. Who is misusing your name and your personal information, okay? All right, well, go ahead and do that. I appreciate so, that. I need you to do that. All right. Yes, miss. So just be on hold for a quick moment. Till I submit this information successfully to the U.S. Marshal. So just be on hold for a quick moment. All right, miss? All right. All right. Just be on hold. Sorry, guys. I am eating dinner. I guess this is where you're going to have to pay a fee to secure your money. We'll see how far this goes. I'll play along for a little while, but not too long. I keep getting... Gosh, I've gotten 10 spam phone calls while I'm in this call. Um, let's see where this goes.
How are you getting any calls? Yeah, I'm getting a call. It says U.S. Marshal. Do you want me to pick that up and hang up with you? Yes, please. Hold and accept. Hold and accept and talk to them. All right, hold on. Hello? Hello? Hey, this is Kelly I'm talking to. Yes. Hi, Mr. This is Officer L. Dickinson calling you from the United States Marshal Service. How are you doing today? Well, I'm not very good now. Okay, so I just got a fax from the bank people who was talking to you. I can see that you're dealing with the case of an identity theft. And the ADR has got approved for you. Is that correct? Well, they said that it was identity theft. I know it is identity theft. Like I told him, it's like my bank accounts are very old, and these new bank accounts obviously aren't mine. <laughs> All right. Can you just tell me what is the information you got from the well, he gave me a case ID number. Do you want that? Hello? Yes, just tell me what he told you about the situation. He said that it was a case of identity theft. That they were, somebody was making bank accounts in my name. I don't know what's going on for sure. I know that I didn't do anything. I know that I didn't make any other bank accounts. Well, miss, I want to tell you the situation. Someone is using your identity for doing this kind of illegal activities, okay? All right. Well, I guess I should be calling Experian and finding out why they didn't enter, didn't tell me anything because they're supposed to be monitoring this. <laughs> so right now, Ms., the situation is that you have a two options in front of you to resolve this case. The first option, you can hire a lawyer you can represent yourself in Hold a on a second. I'm a victim of identity theft and you want me to hire a lawyer? Why would I hire a lawyer when I didn't do anything wrong? That doesn't make any sense. Miss, I'm saying you have a two options. I'm not telling you just hire a lawyer. I'm telling you the option which you have. But 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 why would the I hire that but you you're, you put it you put it in front of me as an option. Now you're scaring me. Hire a lawyer. Why would I hire a lawyer when I didn't do anything wrong? <sighs> It doesn't make any sense to me. Miss, I'm giving you the option. You have to tell me which option you want to choose. Why would I hire an attorney? Are you trying to tell me uh, there's something, you're trying to do something to me for identity theft, sir? <sighs> Miss, I'm not telling you go and hire a lawyer. I'm not telling you that. It's a option. Either you can hire a lawyer, either you can choose the ADR procedure. In ADR procedure, you don't have to hire a lawyer. You don't have to pay anything to anybody. Well, what's ADR? It's alternative dispute resolution. It is giving you a chance to safeguard only your genuine bank account, your legal money. So we are not going to seize them. Apart from that bank, apart from that money, we are going to seize everything. Why would you seize my money? My bank accounts are over a decade old. These new accounts are obviously the fraudulent accounts. Why would you hurt me? I don't understand this. Listen, we are not going to block your personal bank account. In this ADR procedure, you have to verify your personal bank account. So we are not going to freeze them. Apart from your personal bank account, we are going to freeze all of the other accounts. Okay, good. Understand me? Good. Uh, and, and please, catch these people because I'm upset right now. You are upset, I know. You should upset. So, right now, the ADR you have to complete. You have to stay connected with me over the recopitable line. I will explain you all the three steps of ADR. You have to complete it today. Then tomorrow you have to meet with the officer and you will be legally out of this case. What is it that you want me to do? You have to verify your bank account physically. In first step, you have to go to the bank. You have to withdraw the funds from your account, the maximum funds. In the form of cash. So we, we can easily come to know this is the only bank account you have under your name. Okay, well, the bank's going to close in a few minutes. There's no way I can get there in time to do that. And I don't think they'll let me pull 154000 out of my money market at one time.
No, no, no. You can't withdraw. I'm saying the maximum fund. You have to go one I, by one. Shouldn't I protect all of my to... money? I mean, I'm scared. Shouldn't I take yes, all yes. of it out? Miss, you are going to protect all of your money, but still I'm saying you don't have to withdraw all of the amount which you have in your account. You have to withdraw the maximum you can withdraw from the branch. All right, well, I can't do it tonight because they're going to close soon. They're, I mean, my nearest branch is a long ways away. There's no way I can get there in time. Your, your current address is uh, Orlando, Florida. It closes at 5 o'clock, sir. 5 o'clock, and uh, right now the current time is 4.39. That's correct, sir. Okay, so uh, how far is the nearest uh, branch from your current location from your home? It's, well, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit of a way. It's at least 15 minutes away. There's no way I can get there in time. 15 minutes away. Okay. Do you use Cash, uh, PayPal, Coinbase application, anything? No. Why? Let me just talk to the attorney in a moment. I think I foiled the real plan with the bank closing. I'm not doing Cash App. It's definitely not, they're not going to give me any bank accounts. This is really weird. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, now let me do one thing here. You can just uh, initiate this ADR procedure tomorrow. Okay? All right. All right. I will call you in the morning at uh, 9 or 10 a.m. Um, make it after 10 a.m. because I have to get a couple deliveries and um, I'm going to be at the doctor's first thing in the morning. So yes, make... yes. There is no problem. There is no problem. <coughs> okay. Uh, I will give you a text message in your uh, uh, text messages. You can reply me there. You can talk to me in a text message. Okay? All right. All right. Thank you, sir. And let me just tell you one more thing. This is identity theft case. We are dealing with cases in the past where the person who is using their identity, they can be from your colleagues, your friends, anyone. So till the investigation is ongoing, don't reveal anything to anybody regarding this case for your security reasons. Okay. Not even the bank people, not even anybody. Why? That doesn't make any sense. My, I've known these it people is for... making a sense. Let me tell you. Your local bank branch, the person they are working there, they can keep an eye on you and each and every time. They can keep an eye on you because that's why you don't have to reveal that part. Well, I mean, they've always looked out for me. I've never had a problem with them. They're my friends. Before, let me just show you my identity from where I am calling you right now. So you will understand the point what I'm trying to say. Okay? All right. Can you just search U.S. Marshal? I'm sorry? You broke up? What did you say? U U.S. Marshal. And yeah. search it. Yeah, I see that the, um, the caller ID said U.S. Marshals. I saw that, sir. No, no. I'm just trying to show you my number. Oh. Every t anybody can show you uh, your caller ID, but let me just show you the number. Okay. okay? How are you going to show it to me? Yes. In caller ID, do you see the number or not? Well, I see the number, yes, sir, I do. Okay, now let me just show you my name and number on the government website of U.S. Marshals. Just come on the uh, U.S. Marshals.gov, open the first website. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I don't want to submit a tip. Where am I looking at? <clears throat> Type U.S. Marshal, search it. And I'm, I'm, here at your, I'm here at your site. site. I'm here at your site right now, sir. Okay. So where am I looking at? Did you touch, click on the government website of U.S. Marshal? I am, sir. I'm here. U.S. Marshal Service, Department of Justice, okay. United States Marshal. Now right-hand side... Do you see menu? 
I see who we are, what we do, careers. Touch on who we are. Okay. Then touch on headquarters below the contact us. Okay. Now, DC director name. What's your name, sir? Check the ninth name, Office of General Counsel. You will see my name, L. Dickinson, and number. Oh, I see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shoot. L. Dickinson, General Counsel. Yeah, I see that. You can cross-check the number. I'm calling you from this number. All right. All right. All right. I got it. I see it. And now tell me. I told you that you don't have to reveal anything to anybody. You got my point or not? I see. I understand what you're saying. Right. You don't know anything about the situation, how to deal with that. That's why I'm telling you something. So just follow this. Okay. All right, sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you first thing in the morning. Yes. And you live with your family or you live alone? I live with my daughter. Your daughter, okay. And how old is your daughter? She's 23. Okay. So you're supposed to uh, tell your daughter everything or you don't want to uh, tell everything to your daughter? Well, I tell my daughter everything. She's my baby. Yes, you can, but still the investigation is ongoing. Don't reveal anything with her. Okay? But she wouldn't do anything to hurt me. No, no, no. I'm not saying that your daughter doing something. It's just the protocol. There is no reason that you can tell your daughter everything about it. There is no reason for that. Just uh, keep everything safely with you till tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk to you uh, regarding the ADR. All right, sir. All right. Thank you very much. And uh, you will get a text message, so just reply me there. All okay. right. I'll look for it, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Wow, just wow. I wanted to, I do have a daughter that's 23. She doesn't live here anymore, but I'm going to throw her in there so, so he can squirm a little bit. This is, I have never, I don't think I've had one that, um, that was like this that turned into more than one call. I think usually that's the FTC scans, but <sighs> this is going to be interesting. I'm definitely getting somebody else involved in screwing this up for them. Um, again, Bank of America, this is a scam. Nobody at your bank isn't going to call you and ask you for this stuff. At least they better not because I'll remember what the guy said. Don't give your information. So I'm going to use that against them tomorrow if they try. Have a good evening, guys.